video is meant to be an aid in describing the differences between the screw type, lug type, and bolt-on connections in LSIS metasole contactors. This video is not focused on the auxiliaries or contactor coil fasteners. It is important to understand the fastener options in order to ensure proper field wiring and long-term reliability, as well as when combining contactors with overload relays for motor starters. Before we start, please refer to the contactor catalog for recommended wire gauge and terminal types. To begin, we will take a look at the screw type contactors. In the item code, the part number will contain an S to designate that the main contacts have screw type fasteners. Note that the MC6A to 40A contactors are only available as screw type. Screw type contactors can support a wide array of wire terminal types, including ferrules, fork terminals, and bare wire. The screw type physically changes based on the frame size of the contactor. MC40A and smaller screw type contactors utilize a pressure plate ideal for the connection of bare wires or ferrules, but can also be used for fork or spade terminals. Screw type MC50A to MC150A contactors feature a SEMS screw without a pressure plate. Ring tongue terminals are recommended for these contactors to ensure a reliable connection. Next, we move on to the lug type fasteners. If we look at the item code of the lug type contactors, the L designates that the main contacts have lug type fasteners. Lug type contactors can support ferrule or bare wire terminals. The lug type design utilizes a box lug assembly. Moving on to the MC185A and larger contactors, they use a B in the part number to designate a bolt-on connection. This consists of a bolt, washer, and nut assembly. This connection also supports a ring tongue terminal like the smaller contactors. Bus bar connections will also work well on bolt-on type connections. Lug terminal kits are available for MC185A to MC800A contactors. This allows bare wire connections for bolt-on type contactors. Use the table on screen to select the appropriate part number. If you are using an overload relay, the relay should be ordered to mate up to the contactor's fastener type. Simply put, if using a screw type contactor, a screw type overload is required. If using a lug type contactor, a lug type overload is required. For example, we have here the MC65A contactor screw type and an MT63, which has the fork or spade terminal. We also have here the MC32A screw type with MT32 overload relay with pin terminals. Lastly, we have the bolt-on type MC225A with the appropriate bolt-on MT225 overload relay. Thank you for watching this video. For any sales or support questions, please contact us via the methods listed on screen.